Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the routes that you can take to earn some energy credits by playing the Isomag Market. As always, chapters are listed down below. And before I get too far into things, I want to quickly recap what exactly has changed in the past week or so on PC that has caused the Isomag and Advanced Console Market to tank so rapidly. And it all boils down to the Random Elite TFO system as a way to incentivize us to engage with the system Every successful random elite that you do gets you a choice pack for an elite crafting material. And this choice pack is giving one of the cores for the advanced consoles. So basically every random elite that you do that is a successful completion is getting you the advanced part required to go in and craft one advanced console. So every successful run is getting a console basically. And for the first couple of days, it was also bugged. And if you failed, it would also give you the choice back. However, that has since been fixed, so it does indeed require successful completion now to get this reward. And another quick note here, in order for the choice pack to show up in your inventory, you do actually have to open up the random reward box that you have. So you have to do pop that open and get the, the choice of marks and all that to, to appear. And you can see it then gave me the random elite choice package, advanced console component. And then once you open that up, that gives you that selection for whichever console core that you want. So that has caused the, the market to see a very, very large increase in supply for the advanced console components and has caused the isomags to go from around 15 to 20 mil for, for the worst versions down to, I think it's like 250 now. Yeah, 250 KEC per, and it's going to just keep dropping over time. So it it has really impacted the supply and made these much more accessible. And even though the market's down, like I said in the intro, there are still ways to make some EC. The first way, of course, is to go in and just engage with the random elite system. Go in, get your choice pack, and grab the, the most expensive coil at the time, and just put it up on the market to get your EC. The next way is to go in and buy the cheapest isomags that you see on the market that have undesirable modifiers and to go in and re-roll them to modifiers that are more desirable. Now, I'm not personally the biggest fan of this method because this is going to burn quite a bit of dilithium and salvage, but if those are resources that you have extra of, then this is a route that you may want to consider. I've had some isomags go to the mo to a desirable modifier in one go, and I've had some take easily 20 to 30 rerolls to, to get a decent modifier. And with these isomags again, you want an energy weapon one, and you want to be careful. Like if you're going for phaser, you don't want to go for this PHA here because that would be phaser resistance. You want the one that fully spells out phaser if that's what you're going for. And for the Torp modifiers, Isomags are giving a weapon power buff. Torpedoes don't care about weapon power, so the Torp modifiers on the Isomags don't have much value. And there we go, I got Anti-Proton. That's not going to be the best seller, but that is a good return versus what this console started at. And the next one here, this is starting as a turn console. Again, like I said, this this is misleading here. This is phaser resistance, not plus phaser damage. So be careful about that with these consoles. There's a disruptor resistance one. Again, torpedoes don't work with isomags or they don't benefit from the, the buffs that isomags specifically are providing. The lovely STO slot machine here. There we go. Now, if you do happen to get lucky here and get a phaser modifier like I just got there, that is going to be your best return. And something I would say here is that when you do get one of these desirable modifiers, see what the epics are going for also. So if I were to go and post this Mark II phaser isomag up on the market 
I would get right around 15 to 16 million EC from it. But if I go in and I upgrade it with a couple of Phoenix upgrades up to Mark 15 Epic, I can sell it for 37 million. And again, this is a console that I picked up for 200 K and then I re-engineered and I got lucky on the modifier. So that is one route that you can go. And if you're willing to also dump some upgrades into it, when you get a desirable modifier like this, that could be a very nice return. That's turning 200 K into nearly 40 million. But again, you know, that, that is not going to consistently happen, especially with how large the, the mod pool is for these isomags. And the other route that I'm finding to be a bit easier to work with is to go in and just pick up the coils themselves off of the exchange. So I'm going to look for the isomag coils here and the shortcut that I will type in to define these is D A L space C O I L type that in and you're going to see some listings here for the isomag coils. Now these are currently just under 700 K EC a piece and the, the price will probably go up once this video goes out. But the, the idea here is that instead of going in and gambling and burning your dilithium and your salvage, you're just crafting a bunch of these isomags at Mark II to see what modifiers you get. And I do have a key bind here that is going to be of great benefit for those of you wanting to go in and do this. So I've talked about these crafting key binds in the past, and unfortunately, most of them have since been removed from the game. But the one that does still remain is my numpad four key bind, which I'll have in a pinned comment down below that brings up the exact last item that you crafted so that you can go in and spam craft them. So the, the key bind here can be set to whatever key you want on your keyboard. You want to set this as Z. You just do that. I'm just going to leave it as numpad four. And again, I'm going to have this command in the pinned comment down below. If you want to go in and set it up, you just do the slash bind numpad or four or whatever key you want. And then in quotes there, the gen send messaged off recipe start action clicked. So put that in and hit enter. And you'll need to do that for whatever characters you want this key bind on. And what it will do is when you go in and select the thing that you want to craft. So I want to craft some isomags at Mark two, never craft these things at anything higher than that. Leave them at Mark two. It's the cheapest way to go. So I want to craft this. And now to bring up the last item I craft that I'm hitting numpad for. And just like that, I can go in and just spam craft a ton of these in one go. Now, the, there is quite a few modifiers for these things, like I mentioned. So even when crafting them, you're going to be getting a lot of the less desirable modifiers. But if you're going in and crafting a large quantity of these, then in theory, you should be able to turn a profit. So if I wanted to go in and buy like a hundred of those coils, then I should be able to take that 70 mil and turn it into to a little bit more, especially if I get even one or two of those phaser ones, which you would expect me to, to get probably two of them out of 100. I can go in and then upgrade those to the Mark Mark 15 Epic, like I just showed in the prior section, and that would basically fully cover the cost. So I'd have 98 other isomags to, to work with there. Now I do have a spreadsheet, of course, that is averaging out all of the data and just assuming the, the Mark II values that are currently on the market. And if you wanna go in and mess around with this spreadsheet yourself to see if this is still something profitable to do, I will also have this linked in the description down below and in that pinned comment. And you just have to go to file, make a copy at the top left. If you go in and try to request access to modify this, sheet that is on my account, I will not see the email. Um, so if you want to mess with this, you have to go to file and make a copy. Now you can update the, the values of the desirable isomags up here at the top left, and you can go in and insert what the isomag coils cost right now over here at the right. 
Um, there's 42 mods listed on the, the tooltip there, but three of those are duplicates. So I've only got 39 listed in the mod pool. If you want to go in and put 42 or whatever, you can do that if you want to factor that into the calculations. And I'm setting the value of all of the trash isomags, like the resistance ones, the torp ones and all that. I'm at 250k here, which I can do just by changing this, this cell here. So if I wanted to lower those to 200, then I can. Now, once you insert that data for the, the, the desirable isomags and then what the, the quails currently cost for you and what the, the trash isomags cost, this sheet will automatically update and tell you what the average value of each isomag is. Once you go through and craft it, it will tell you the average you know, profit per coil and it will tell you the, the percent profit there and it will give you a nice indication as to whether or not it is currently profitable to go and attempt the strategy. So if the coil cost goes too high, you know, say it shoots back up into the millions, it'll tell you, no, this is not a profitable method. Likewise, if there's so much supply of these things that the, the phaser isomags completely tank in value, then it, you can go in and watch you input the data, it'll tell you again that, hey, this this isn't profitable right now. So again, this is going to be linked in the description down below in the pinned comment if you want to mess with it. But in theory, like I said, you should be able to get a nice return here when you're crafting a lot of these isomag consoles. And you can further this profit by going in and upgrading the really desirable ones up to Mark 15 Epic if you're willing to, to burn the, the upgrades. And if you get a phase one, I absolutely would, given that that is more than twice the, the value for the epic one. So just do some, some research there for sure. And, you know, if once you have that crafting key bind, going in and crafting these is quite quick to, to do. And that's gonna be it for this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. And again, thank you to all channel members and viewers for the continued support. See you guys around.